everybody. This is Mossing Globe coming at you with another Kinder Fates video. This time we're going to be going over the um, April Fool's newsletter, if you will. It's kind of like a uh, gag reel, from what I understand, of like just various bugs. Um, so, without further ado, let's get into it and see exactly what this is about. I haven't actually read through it yet, but I've skimmed over it just to know exactly what I was getting into. I'm pretty sure it's like bugs, like I said. Wow, it's April already. Some about this time of year really gets us thinking and just really carefully evaluating all the mechanics of fates. Maybe it's the smell of flowers in the air, the long chill of winter receding that really puts the spark of genius in our minds, our team members. So we made some changes and we think you'll agree the game is totally better for it. Absolutely 100% improvements only, no worse at all. So without further fun ado, here they are. We have some difficulty getting the swing for the player character to work, so we decided, how about we just not? Instead, the player character can achieve all their hopes and dreams by walking on water. So let's see how this works. What are they? What are we gonna see here? You just you need swimming, right? But I would like to point out, I really like how the water looks. Yes, I'm gonna be, you know, probably overanalyzing these videos, but I really do like the the whole environment of this little zone here. If you don't think, and if you don't do it right, you may be treated to a glimpse of the player character drowning at the bottom of the lake. What fun! <laughs> so here we just see Avion has some kind of ability there. <laughs> My only speculation for that would be maybe it's like a dive bomb. The way it looks, maybe you have dive down while flying or something. There's nothing more majestic in nature than watching a shark jump 100 feet in the air. Don't even try to say that they can't. Alex, my uncle, goes fishing in Tijuana, maybe, I'm not sure, and once caught a tiger shark in an oversized butterfly net at cruising altitude. Therefore, we decided to make Hulk Pierce's jump height a little more realistic. All right, Hulk Pierce, let's see what you do. I think that's actually a pretty nice blend that they do there. I like how you go into the water. Yeah. Hole piercer, um, air lean confirmed. But yeah, look at how the water, that little water bubble he's in, and it kind of blends into it. Could be a little more seamless, I guess, but it's, it's still, I, I like how, I like the general idea of it. And there he goes, he's just flying off. Majestic. The shark space program, I said, the, Nordic, the giant space program. All right. We've been getting complaints that Ember is too big and difficult to maneuver. We hear you. Now it looks like this. He hasn't stopped screaming. Oops. Let's play a little bit. Poor Ember. This is a buff. Like you wanted a buff for Ember, but not like this. After some reflection, we said Kinfolk aren't suffering enough after death. Now they'll always stay with you and you can even visit some of them in the graveyard. All right. Yes. Well, that is slightly traumatizing there. I don't think we've all arrived, but I'm not a professional, so. Kadoki Graveyard here. There's just some Kadoki just, you know, dancing in the graveyard. They're raving in the graveyard. By Grave Lords slash Rave Lords from Dark Souls 1. Overall, I do like the... Oh, you can see a Kadoki off in the distance. I didn't notice that before. I like the general aesthetic of the graveyard and the fog and stuff. It's a nice touch too, by the way. Our testers felt that the Kinfolk NPCs were a little too stationary, so we made sure that from now on they always have some pep in their step. Um, you okay, Avion? Oh, you could talk. Oh, wait, no, I thought that was in your party. I thought you could just go to your party members and talk, but still, you can just go up as you would expect. You can just talk to Kinfolk normally, but for a second there, I thought that was in your party, and you could just talk to your party anytime. And developing our flight mechanic, we found it was pretty boring getting from point A to point B, where it's challenge flying in a straight line. Well, with this change, you'll never get bored while flying again, or see where you're going. 
motion sickness warning. So you've been warned, motion sickness coming up. I'll tell you when it's done if you um don't want to get motion sickness. I'm going to do a little bit of narration for you. Um, <clears throat> yeah, basically, Avion just flies into the air and starts spinning violently. Ooh. It does like a little thing to it. It says changed flight mode, now soaring, and then you can look now, again, if you were looking away. And you can just see Avion just has a bunch of fireballs and like, you know, generic moves on him right now, so I don't think that's of relevance. Some might think the player characters have a deep bond and loyalty to his kinfolk, however, if that opinion is incorrect, we decided it'd be better for them to leave them as soon as things start to go wrong, right? Oh no, poor K Knight. <laughs> Inku don't watch. Yep, he's gone, dude. He's like, bye, K Knight. K Knight revenge story win. Capture mechanic was a little too easy, and now some people decide not to get captured and fall asleep instead permanently. Don't worry, it's breathing. We checked. So they caught that shovelet. Yeah, that shovelet's just like put into a forever coma, I guess. Rip, rip shovelet. Human NPCs weren't realistic enough, so now they can breathe. It's not unsettling at all. They go just completely, largely normal. Nothing strange here at all. And we hope you'll let us know what you think of these bugs and X features. So, hope you guys enjoyed this little tidbit. While, you know, it's not a traditional newsletter, I still thought it was fun. And we still even did get a few tiny tidbits of new information. and got to see a few new locations. So, hope you all enjoyed. Until next time, this is Monster Blobus. I'm going to go off. Hope you have a wonderful day. Goodbye. God bless. See you next time. Bye-bye.